In the past few days, I've been really thinking about changing my hair color. At first, I really wanted to go blonde because that's my natural hair color and I figured it would be much more easy and I could always add some gold tones to it. But then I realized I'd much rather have long hair and not have it break off because I've worked so hard to get my hair healthy and right now it's probably the healthiest I've had it in a really long time and it's weird because I've never been someone who really cared about the health of my hair I was always just changing the colors of it and wanting to experience like new things so the fact that I'm sitting here and I'm like I don't know if I want to do it I want to have my hair long and healthy that's just something new Courtney that has developed. But because I'm home and I have so much time <laughs> to really play with my hair and not have to go outside if it looks terrible, I have time. Um, I figured this would be a really good time to just, you know, try something new. A few nights ago, I was online and I bought a bucket of bleach from Sally's and a toner and some developer. My thought process was that I was gonna do like a few bleach baths with a 20 volume developer um and just see what happens like if it would lift the color and then if it lifted to like a strawberry color i would tone it with this blonde color and then it'd be done but then last night at like 1 a.m i was like that there's a lot of room for error with that um i don't have any dyes like if it were to come out bright orange or bright yellow. I ended up buying like six different hair colors just in case something happens. And I'm going for a strawberry blonde. And if it comes out strawberry blonde, I'm gonna add some dimension with a shadow root and some highlights and I'm really gonna go for it. So here we are right now. I am going to try my best to fade my henna as much as possible between now and when these get delivered. The good thing is whenever I bleach, if I bleach, there's gonna be a few days between when that arrives and when the dye arrives. So I'll have time to like have my hair, get some oil on the scalp and just come back to life a little bit. But anyway, right now I'm gonna do a oil treatment. I did some Googling and I found out that if you use coconut oil, olive oil, lemon juice, whatever, it'll fade the henna significantly if you leave it on for like 12 hours. Um, I might leave it on for like nine hours because it's 12.30 right now. But what I did was I took some coconut oil, some olive oil, and just a little bit of lemon juice because I don't want it to dry out my hair. And I'm just gonna apply this and see what happens. So this is how my hair is right now. And I know this is unfortunate because I literally just hennaed my hair like a week ago. Um, but yeah, you know, times change very fast. Things are changing fast and we need to control something that's within our abilities and that is our hair. Let me know, have you had the urge to cut your hair, dye your hair, or if you've already done it? So I'm just gonna start applying this. I'm feeling like I definitely should do sections. <laughs> Good enough. So for this, I basically just applied it as if I was doing hair dye. I just did it in sections all the way down the hair strands and I honestly left it on for only like three hours. <laughs> so I probably put in way more than I should have or needed to. And you know, if nothing else, I'm sure minus the lemon, it'll be, you know, good for my hair. So there's that. I sat outside in the sun for about an hour. <sighs> my mom said that it was only like 50 degrees out and that the UV index was very low, but I have seriously already got sunburnt. <laughs> So it's the next day and this is how my hair ended up coming out. I feel like it looks like how my hair did before I just henned it the other day. <laughs> it is unfortunate that I just did my hair color. I feel like it's much less vibrant, which is nice. And it's also so silky. So I am happy that I am doing these oil treatments because I do feel like it is doing good to my hair and not like falling out, you know? Today we're gonna switch it up. All they had at the dollar store um, was this. Of course, every vitamin C is sold out everywhere. I feel like maybe I should be using this uh, as it's intended rather than just on my hair, but I am gonna be doing a hair treatment with it to see if it takes anything out of my hair. Okay, combine one packet of emergency with water and stir it into a plate paste. Then apply this to wet hair for five minutes and then shampoo it out. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go and wash this off and then immediately put on some warm coconut oil too. I heard this, I don't know if it's true. This is supposed to like open the hair strand and then the coconut oil is supposed to like 
suck it out. I don't know, it's dripping all down my face and staining my shirt. So I'm gonna go and wash it out right now. Okay, so it's a few hours later and I mean, I can for sure tell the difference. Um, I don't know if you guys can. I mean, it does look a little lighter in the camera, but definitely under the light, I can see, especially up at the top um, where my regrowth is, it looks a lot more orangey than red. It does look so much lighter to me. Like, I feel like if I keep doing this a few more times, really making sure to oil up my hair and make sure that it's healthy, it'll be fine. Okay, it is the next night and we're gonna do round two. This time I'm gonna try it with some shampoo. See if there's any difference. I'm gonna do two packets and then some shampoo. So here we go. So when I was researching how to do this, I saw that a lot of people were using dandruff shampoo, but that their hair was left super, super dry. And mine never really got dry from doing the vitamin C treatments, I think because I used a pretty good shampoo and it definitely doesn't dry out my hair. So if you're worried about that, definitely just go with a good shampoo because I don't think it makes any difference. I can like already see that this is starting to work. That is insane. Hmm, maybe this will actually do something for my hair. So I left that on for about an hour and this is how it came out. I I personally can totally see a difference. Um, mainly probably because it's my hair and I know what it looks like all the time and I know this isn't how it looks, but also it looks a little different on camera. So maybe you can tell. It is definitely getting lighter and I'm really excited because now I can tell you guys that doing vitamin C does do pretty good for removing henna if you're patient. You know, it's not going to be like a drastic change. I'm sure it'll be like a lot of small little changes. And today's going to be the last day that I mess with my hair for a little while because I want to save the health of it. I've been doing masks after washing out the vitamin C. I don't want to damage it. Uh, too much and not have any where to backtrack on damage. So today I'm gonna try this. It's Color Zap Hair Color Remover. I was looking for color oops um, just to see if that would help at all. And I couldn't find it online. So I ended up getting this and hopefully uh, this works. It, it could either go three ways. It could either look fine and work it could either look terrible or it could do nothing. So I'll just do these sections first. So I'm just giving you a spoiler that this stuff actually really works and I like it a lot better than what I end up using later. Guys, I'm like running out. Ooh. So this is how it came out. Um, so I actually found some color oops, which is fun. Um, I read through all the directions and it's kind of scary. I've never used it before. Surprisingly, I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I feel like my hair is at like the maximum lightness that it can get because I don't know what was really underneath all the henna. Um, yes I do. And it was this. Pretty sure it was just orange. Correct. And I have like dye and toner and stuff coming uh, next week. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of treatments on my hair just to like get it to be a little bit more healthy. Um, it's not terrible right now. It is a little bit drier than normal. I wanna see just what else this can get out because this half is definitely a little bit darker than this half. Guys, I'm like running out. I don't think it's gonna get out the orange and make me blonde, but it might help, who knows? This is the before. So let me just tell you that this is the nastiest stuff I've ever used in my life. It smells like straight up ass and it stays in your hair for days. Like the smell is just so pungent. It stuck to the surface of my makeup section, which is right underneath me here. Like I had to Clorox that for days. And not only does it smell, the way you wash it out is just ridiculous. I won't go into it here, but it's a lot. <laughs> okay, hello. <sighs> it's a few days later. I haven't touched my hair. Like I said, I wouldn't. However, that's gonna change. <laughs> um, so it's Saturday and my hair dye comes Monday. So I really did wanna give my hair 
a rest and kind of treat it nicely over the weekend i did an oil treatment um last night so there's still a bunch of oil in my hair so this is the result after doing the color oops it is fine it's still healthy it just looks really gross because i just had it up in a bun um and it has oil in it it's it's just dry i did notice in the shower um when i was washing it out that night that a few pieces were a little stretchy and i don't like that at all it's like kind of traumatizing i remember when i used to bleach my hair all the time my hair would just stretch and it'd be like the grossest feeling um so i do know that that means my hair needs protein today i wanted to do a bleach wash just to see how much more i can get out because my goal has changed i do want to stay copper that's like gonna be a thing however i do just want to get as much henna out as i can because eventually i'm gonna want to do like a balayage and have some highlights throughout the hair and i just don't want it to have so much orange pigment to it i want it to be a little bit more subtle than that so i do want to just see how much more i can get out with just a bleach bath basically what you do for a bleach wash at least this is what i've learned it might not be correct but you mix shampoo with developer and bleach i just want to get more of like the orange henna out i'm gonna bleach wash my hair so this is the before so for the bleach wash i just mixed uh, a little bit of bleach a little bit of like 30 volume and 20 volume to make 25 and then a bunch of shampoo so it's really diluted anyway from the shampoo so i don't really know what kind of developer level i have in here but then i washed my hair to dilute it even more and then just started applying it um lathering it up it's really easy to do um i prefer this honestly than bleaching a whole head of hair so I just put this cap on my hair and I'm just gonna leave this on for probably like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna keep watching it to see when I wanna wash it out, but that's what I'm thinking right now. So we'll see how it turns out. Um. So the thing is, this doesn't seem too far off from what the pictures show that I'm going for. However, I don't like this. The thing is, maybe if it were to come, if my roots were to look different, um, like if they were to be darker, so if the top half was cut off and this was like a little bit more, had like a more of a copper tint to it, um, and then some highlights, I don't know. It looks so much better than before, so it's fine. I'm just really, really impressed that I was able to get it to this point with almost three years worth of henna on my hair without much damage i mean in reality i only put bleach on my hair through a bleach wash that's it i did an oil treatment and a few vitamin c treatments to kind of you know keep it as healthy as possible i did one color oops that was a healthier version and then i did the actual color oops which was what was pretty harsh on my hair it did definitely dry it out and then the bleach wash, which sounds like a lot, but in reality, it was much easier than I thought it would be. I didn't really think I would be able to get this far at all. I think if I were to do another bleach wash, which I'm not, I would be able to get the majority of all this gold out, throw a toner on and have blonde hair. I, I'm honestly shocked that I got it to this point so fast without even really trying. I'm just really happy I got the majority of the henna out. There's still obviously a little bit because it's still gold. I'll probably do a trim, even though it doesn't look like they're that bad. I think I got really lucky. And I just wanted to say, this video is not like a how to remove henna. This is, I removed my henna. <laughs> um, I don't know what you have used on your hair. Um, I have personally only ever used Lush Rouge Color and Henna Sook. Those two are natural. Those are safe. Um, I don't know about any other henna. So I personally only would recommend ever using Henna Sook. From my personal experience, it is amazing. It's been easy to remove it's been a really good experience using it so if that's something like you're wanting to do if you want to use henna i would recommend that because if you're ever going to want to remove it it's possible 
Um, just be really mindful, do strand tests, be safe. Yeah, because I wouldn't recommend doing like color oops on ones that I haven't had experience with, I don't know. I just wanted to put that disclosure in there, like you never know what's in a box of color. There is no henna that can make your hair blonde or lighter or have any sort of lifting properties. If there's any kind of developer in any henna that you're using, it is not henna and don't use it because it's not safe. It will have those reactions that everyone talks about. All you want is a natural plant. So this is where I'm gonna end this video. This is part one of like my hair transformation. I'm super excited to see what happens. Uh, hopefully it does not go back to the color I just had because then I'd go through all this for nothing. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see the transformation that happens. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you thought that it was impressive that I got that much henna out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.